question for you guys. Which soundbar are you using right now, and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. JBL Bar Studio 2.0 Best Under $150 the JBL Bar Studio 2.0 is an excellent budget option if you want to upgrade your TV speakers. It has a solid and punchy sound, plenty of bass, decent details, and a good range of features. Its only disadvantage is that it hardens slightly at higher volumes, but that's a minor problem. Otherwise, it's one of the best soundbars in the market, no doubt. If you listen closely, you'll notice that the bass on the JBL Bar Studio 2.0 is just amazing. It has a very punchy and relatively rich bass. It has an 80-watt total system power and you can enjoy wireless music streaming via Bluetooth from a mobile or a tablet. Overall, it's a very nice, compact, low-profile design soundbar and it's designed to fit effortlessly into your life and in front of your television. The low-end reach is a suggested 70Hz, which equates to enough depth to impart some of the scales of cinematic effect. The LF output of the JBL Bar Studio 2.0 integrates well with mid-range details for a smooth balance. It's one of the best soundbars in the market, and if you're looking for one of the best, make sure to take a look at the JBL Bar Studio 2.0 and see if it fits you. Number 3. Roku Stream Bar – Best Value Think of the Roku Stream Bar as an upgrade on your TV, rather than an entry into proper home cinema, and then it would tick pretty much every box. While it doesn't quite ascend to five-star status, it easily nails the aspects for which it is most commonly going to be used – projection and clarity. The stream bar will work with any television with an HDMI input, outputting 4K HDR at up to 60fps for those with compatible sets. The bundled remote is splendid, and for an out-of-the-box boost to TV audio and older set smart features, the Roku stream bar is extremely low risk for this price. In that sense, it's something we can wholeheartedly recommend. But this is a Roku streamer built into a soundbar, rather than the other way around, so it's good to see at least equal focus has been bestowed upon that side of its functionality. Number 2. Samsung HWA550 – Best Runner-Up The Samsung HWA550 is good for music. Out of the box, it has a pretty neutral sound profile with a little extra punch in the bass range that's still suitable for listening to lots of different types of audio content. The bar has a simple design. It's mostly made of plastic and there's a metal grill around the front of the bar. This system delivers up to 160 watts of power from the sound bar and up to 250 watts from the included wireless subwoofer and is compatible with Dolby and DTS two-channel audio. Bluetooth connectivity is built into the soundbar for wireless audio streaming from compatible devices like smartphones and tablets. The soundbar's optical input enables direct digital connectivity to your compatible TV, and various audio formats can be played through the USB port from compatible drives. You can place the soundbar on a tabletop or mount it to the wall with the included hardware. The HWA550's built-in Bluetooth can wirelessly stream your favorite tunes from your phone directly to the soundbar. Multi-connection support even lets you pair two devices at a time and switch between them at your leisure. If you're looking to minimize the cord clutter, you can also use the soundbar's Bluetooth to receive a stereo signal from a compatible Samsung TV. It really is one of the best budget soundbars in the market. Number 1. Yamaha YAS207BL – Best Overall the Yamaha YAS207BL marks a major step forward compared to the previous models. It's the world's first soundbar to add DTS Virtual X technology. Let's introduce this unique soundbar more widely. When it comes to design, this model comes in a black color edition and it's built of faux leather plastic top and cloth grill surround. To continue about performance, this soundbar offers you many precious features. As the world's first soundbar with DTS Virtual X, the YAS207 can virtualize immersive 3D surround sound, simulating sound effects that move around and even above the listener. When we're at advantages, I would like to emphasize some of them. Starting from the sleek, slim profile, this device offers the rich, powerful bass, which will enhance your listening performance. It offers a bevy of useful features for an affordable price. Build quality is excellent too, so for the price you pay, it's highly recommended. Generally, users are really highly satisfied with all the features that this device offers. To conclude, the Yamaha YAS207BL is a must-have device which will fulfill every customer's desires, so you should definitely consider this product as your next purchase. 
one of the best in the market for sure. Buying Guide IR Sensors and Placement Assuming you want to be able to control your TV, and you do, you'll need to be careful with where you place a soundbar. Typically, soundbars sit directly below your TV, even some mounted on the wall. That's where the TV is, of course. But if you're using an entertainment stand, you don't want the soundbar sitting on it in front of your TV's infrared or IR sensor, which is where the remote control sends its signal. Passive versus Active Passive means the soundbar does not have a built-in power amp and thus requires a receiver or amplifier to work. They do, however, have better speakers, and better speakers mean better sound. As a result, a passive soundbar will cost you a little more, and you'll have to connect more components together. You'll also need a traditional subwoofer connection if you want extra bass. Active means the soundbar comes with built-in amplifiers that power everything as well as channel processors that separate left, right and center speakers in the soundbar. So no extra receiver to plug into or buy, plus fewer wires with an all-inclusive device. Our recommendation? If you're looking to simply upgrade your TV's audio, go with an active soundbar. Passive soundbars are better suited for custom installations, for example if you want your soundbar to disappear as part of the TV or want a full-blown Dolby Atmos system. Are soundbars worth having? Yes, they are. Soundbars are definitely worth it. They'll give you better sound than is possible with your TV, and in some cases they offer excellent fidelity for movies and music. Should I buy a soundbar or speakers? One of the main advantages of a soundbar system is that you don't need to lay out as much cash. Excellent soundbars can be had for around $100, and spending $200 or more will get you something pretty great. It takes more money to assemble a separate